Hi everyone, this is John McMath from the Static Pain Terminator. And I want to talk to you a little bit about something that you may or may not heard called trigger points. And there's a lot of misconceptions about them and what to do about them. Well, you have three kinds of trigger points. Uh, you have ones that say if you push right here, it's going to hurt here. You have one that if you push here, it's going to refer somewhere else. That's called referred. And then you have what's called latent. And latent is what I call the smoking guns because those are ones that don't hurt anywhere and don't feel, you don't feel it anywhere, but they're there. And typically those cause problems, uh, like I said, smoking guns down the road. And they are very, very, very difficult to diagnose. A question I always get is what are trigger points? How do I figure out if I have them? And then of course, what do you do about them? And then also, how does that play with stretching? Because I made this mistake, actually I made this mistake twice, where I had no range of motion, thought I could just stretch the heck out of it, and went to some pretty, very prominent, uh, in fact, Jerry Rice's trainer I went to, uh, and he got me within 36 hours from barely lifting my leg to like way over and then some. But that didn't get me out of pain, yet I was super limber. Why is that? Well, I had what's called trigger points. And trigger points are, if you ever notice, if you are on your hamstring, you'll probably notice you get these knots and they're probably in the same places every time or in your calves. Well, there's four of these trigger points in your hamstring, for example. And all a trigger point is, is typically what happens is it could either happen from an overuse or an underuse. It's kind of those hell if you do and hell if you don't. And what happens is the muscle should be going like this. Well, what happens is after either underuse or overuse or trauma, a lot of times if you slip and fall and, and hit the muscle, what happens is the muscle then goes into spasm, it shortens and it stiffens, and then you're like, the muscle's like this. So think about it, if your muscle is like this mechanically and you try and stretch that, all you're doing is in essence is tightening the knot further. So within a couple, three weeks, in my case, I went back to where I was as far as not having the range of motion anymore, and then my pain got worse. Well, the reason why is I didn't address the trigger points before I stretched. So here's what you need to do on this. First, you need to figure out, do you have them or not? So in the case, let's say if you have piriformis syndrome, or if you have a forward neck and you got some neck pain, or and you got some soreness here, you can f poke around and if you have some real sore spots on, on your butt, it, that's like if you barely touch it and they're, and they're like really sore, I bet you you have trigger points. So at that case, you wanna assess it, you can foam roll it, uh, there's, you can tennis ball it, there's a little knobby thing, there's a theracane, there's all sorts of things you can do and you wanna go very easy in the beginning, be conservative, and then what you'll do is you'll work these trigger points out, get that mechanical bond away so your muscles move like that, and you should feel some relief almost instantly. Once you get the trigger points out, then you go in and stretch. So for example, what, I'll, what I like to do, I like to take it a step further. I'll go in the hot tub, get the muscles nice and loose, then I'll foam roll, the area in case my right piriformis and then I'll do a couple three different stretches and then that will get everything loose and permanently loose. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions put them on the blog, email me personally. This is John from the Static Pain Terminator wishing you and your family a pain-free lifestyle.